What's a commonly known fact that's completely false? Sugar cane grows faster on sand. Even if there are hot singles in your area, they don't want to meet you. Slit pupils mean a snake is venomous. The shape of the pupils is based on if they're nocturnal or diurnal. Tilt your head back when you have a bloody nose. You actually want to tilt it forward and pinch your nose. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made object you can see from space. No. No you can't. It's like 30 foot wide. That goldfish have a 3 second memory. They actually have a memory span that lasts for months. They're also quite intelligent fish. You can even teach them tricks. That we need to detox our bodies. There's this whole fad of detox juice cleanses and detox workout regimens. While in reality, all we need to detox is to not become completely dehydrated. What's also peculiar, is that these people who say we should detox our bodies never specify what toxins we need to cleanse ourselves from. We eat, idk how many, spiders in our sleeps every year. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. In fact, it does, and frequently. Alcohol doesn't really warm you up. It increases small vessel circulation so you feel warmer but really it decreases the overall body temperature. That the Europeans thought the earth was flat when Columbus took to the sea and discovered America. The ancient Greeks calculated the circumference of the earth 500 BC. That lemmings commit mass suicide. It was just a weird lie Disney made up for a film they made and they essentially just tossed a bunch of lemmings off a cliff and told people they just kill themselves. Einstein never failed math. In fact, when he was shown a clipping from a Ripley's Believe It or Not, where this fact originated, he said, I never failed in mathematics. Before I was 15 I had mastered differential and integral calculus. Source. That identical twins run in families. Only fraternal twins can run in families and that's only because some women are known to hyperovulate, causing two eggs to be released at once. That can sometimes run in families, but identical twins are an anomaly. That humans only use 10% of our brains. Hair grows back thicker when you shave it. Diamonds are expensive because they are rare. Bull lit. Bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly is a complete lie. Who let the dogs out was about ugly women in the club. Wrong, it's about unwelcome men hitting on women. Google it. The singer has said so in multiple interviews. Blood is blue but turns red when it hits oxygen. Nope. The blue color you see under your skin has to do with your veins. Not the color of your blood. Your blood is always going to be a shade of red. Most instances of human contact with a wild, young animal will not cause a mother to abandon it. There are a litany of other reasons why you shouldn't touch wildlife. Maybe how the myth started in the first place. You can feel specific tastes only on the specific parts of the tongue. That is, sweet on the tip, sour on the sides, etc. The left side of the brain is the rational one, while the right side is the creative one. It's actually more complex than that. A lot more complex. That we only use 10% of our brain. Yeah, we use a lot more of that. Using 100% of your brain at once doesn't unlock a super genius. That's a seizure. That it's illegal to drive barefoot. I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that police actually encourage barefoot driving over driving in heels, flip flops, etc. You have to wait 30 minutes after eating to go back into the swimming pool. Parents tell this to their children so they can have a break from being in the water. Dogs don't sweat by salivating. In truth, dogs have sweat glands all over their body. They sweat primarily through their foot pads. When they are panting, they are helping to regulate body temperature, much like we do. Daddy long legs do not carry the most potent venom in the spider kingdom and just don't use it. They don't cause severe harm in humans because their fangs are too weak or too small to puncture skin either. They don't harm people because they're a basic ass spider. Source. Sorry for weird format. IDK if this is a common myth for everyone, but it's such a silly fact here in the deep south that it drives me nuts. Edit. Wow. I did not expect for this to blow up. 
Thank you for all the comments and upvotes. Colon. That cold weather causes colds. Glass is a super cooled liquid which flows very slowly. Which is why windows in old churches are thicker at the bottom. Germany didn't invade Russia in winter. They invaded at the earliest possible date when the spring mud had sufficiently dried out end of June. I know I'm late to this, but the Wikipedia, list of common misconceptions, is full of these. It's great reading, and my second favorite list on Wikipedia. Wolves don't have alphas in healthy, wild packs. The guy who proved alpha theory is still trying to convince people that he was wrong after discovering that only captive wolf packs display alpha beta omega hierarchies. Almost no snakes are poisonous, but plenty are venomous. Remember, if you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. Aside from being a pedantic difference, that's one reason why snakes don't want to start a fight with you. They're not poisonous. So animals can, and do, eat them all the time. So when given the choice, snakes will usually want to hide rather than attack. Edit. Wording. Probably a common answer but might as well use it. Napoleon Bonaparte was a short boy. Maybe by today's standards he is on the shorter side but back then he was around or above average height. When he went into power, or maybe before then correct me if I'm wrong. They changed everything in France. The units of me sermoned the calendar, and etc. This factoid of Napoleon's height, or really how short he was, was used as propaganda if I can recall. Sorry for shoddy format. On mobile, it removed quotes on factoid because I misused my quotes. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That spinach is really high in iron content. Some dude added a digit or omitted a decimal point. Popeye was lying. He was juicing. Certain shampoos will heal or repair your split ends. It's not some magical glue that will stick your hair back together. Just get a damn trim. The mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations at the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. The story of the Chevy Nova not selling well in South America because it translated to it won't go. That's some excellent trolling by someone because that made it into college marketing textbooks. The weird thing about this whole post is that many of the answers are not the commonly known myth. They are instead the actual truthful corollary to the common myth. Which makes it kind of confusing to the readers as to which is which. Any time a British person mentions anything about gun control, it's pointed out that the number of murders using knives in the UK is off the charts. And that we should get our own house in order. Per person. The rate of murders using knives or bladed weapons is significantly higher in the USA. You will not get a cramp if you go swimming right after you eat. The opposite of America is China. It's the Indian Ocean that is opposite sadly. Going out with wet hair gives you a cold. No IT doesn't the cold virus gives a cold. That factoid means a little interesting fact. That's a factlet. A factoid is something which sounds true, but isn't. Vitamin C doesn't really work like you think it does. It's good for you yeah but not really helpful in fighting colds and stuff. Companies have just marketed it right. Mosquitoes aren't attracted by light. They are attracted by you who are under the light. We got that misconception by seeing other bugs flying around lights and thinking it's the same for mosquitoes. Turtles and fish only grow to the size of their enclosures. This has a small kernel of truth to it. They'll stay smaller than animals in a larger enclosure. Because the stress and health issues of confinement will stunt their growth and they'll often die before reaching mature size. Turtles, in general, need 10 gallons of water, not tank size, per inch of shell length. So most red-eared sliders and painted turtles will need 100 plus gal tanks for a more manageable species. Get a musk or mud turtle. A 40 gallon is all they'll need. Goldfish need 20 gallons to start with. Then 10-15g per additional fish. This only counts for round bodied goldfish. Comets feeders. Shubunkins. And other streamlined goldfish should have a minimum of 50 gallons to start with. With 20 gallons per additional fish. Many say they should only be kept in large ponds. On top of having a healthier pet. 
they'll be far less dirty than they're normally considered when they have the proper volume of water to live in. Alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. You can totally wake a sleepwalker. If his sleepwalking causes a dangerous situation, you should wake him. That cracking your knuckles will lead to arthritis and other health issues. It doesn't affect the body at all. Crack all you want. In psychology, it's the idea that time heals everything. For many people with traumatic experiences for example, 50 years can be just a blink of an eye away from the same event. It's okay to feed rabbits carrots on a daily basis. Carrots are high in sugar so only small amounts as a treat is okay. Rabbits should mainly eat hay grass, leafy greens, and a small amount of pellets. You can see the Great Wall of China from space. I got it on a Trivial Pursuit card once and I knew what it was asking but I also knew it was false and I explained that to my GF and her family and they didn't believe me until I pointed out that it's a wall and only like 40 feet wide at its widest. The Inuit have 100, 500, 2000 etc. Words for snow. Inuit languages are agglutinative meaning they add affixes in place of adjectives. They do have about as many as a professional skier. About 7. I'm sure you can think of a few words for snow, sleet, powder, packing, flurries etc. Same thing goes with Hawaiians and rain. They do have 1000 words for snow but that's only because they have infinite words for any noun because you can just add things to describe it and give it possessive purpose and so on. That the pinky finger accounts for 50% of your whole hand's power. Like dude. WTF. That fat in foods turns into fat in your body. A smoke and mirrors campaign started by the sugar industry to keep from blaming them. That you can't take a shower during a thunderstorm for fear of lightning strike. Even though this isn't true. I still won't do it. Colon. That we went to the moon. Of course we didn't go to the moon. In fact, it was a bunch of astronauts who did that. Are you an astronaut? I didn't think so. If you have a nosebleed don't pinch it and tilt your head backwards. Blood could drip into your lungs and cause aspiration pneumonia. Pinch and lean slightly forward. People in medieval times had a life expectancy of 20 to 30 and they'd die then. It's false because people could live to 50 maybe 60. The life expectancy is low because of how many children died young. Edit. A word. Vaccinations cause autism. That birds are real. They are in fact government robot spies. Blood is blue inside your body. Does anyone still believe this? Toilets don't actually flush in the opposite direction in the southern hemisphere. The first time a girl has sex it will be painful and she will bleed because the hymen is broken. That carrots make your eyesight better. Was used for propaganda to hide the technology of radar. The M4 Sherman was not a death trap. It was actually one of the safest tanks a person could be in. Nicholas Moran, the chieftain, did a talk on truths about World War II tanks and if I recall correctly, he said there was 0.6 casualties on average per knocked out Sherman. Sure it was easy as hell to knock one out, but the ammo was harder to detonate, compared to other Allied and Soviet tanks, and the escape hatches were among the best designed. So unless the crew member was turned into marinara sauce by getting hit directly by the shell, his odds of getting out were pretty damn good.